Um, I feel like this retrograde really showed you who was rocking with you, who wasn't really rocking with you. And I feel like it kind of gave you a little bit of sword, uh, three of swords energy, you know, heartbreak. You felt lonely. You felt whatever project you may have started, um, a little bit before retrograde. Um, retrograde does give you setbacks on a lot of things. So after retrograde, uh, things will start speeding up as well um maybe when it came to uh love i feel like things weren't just going the best that they could i feel like you found out a lot of lies too a lot of things that people were saying to you were lies that they were lying about um how they truly felt so let's see you also are gonna get romantic proposals offers a lot of invitations a lot of people are gonna be asking you out taking you out on dates calling you texting you all that good stuff so i'm excited for that are you guys excited for that and sorry all my cards fell they want to chat today they're like come on we have a lot to say today <laughs> that's literally what they're doing today but talking about dates and stuff like that um i feel like a lot of us are single right now a lot of us shouldn't settle for less if this person is not going to give you what you want then why are you going to waste your time i feel like right now you're minding your own business and you're taking care of yourself a lot of self-care a lot of self-love is kind of going on right now which is good i love it i feel like you're calling back your energy um <clears throat> to make a better version of yourself which is all we can really do right because if we don't love ourselves, how is someone else going to love us? So also, what I'm getting is with the Page of Wands, I feel like we're going to be getting good news. Maybe a promotion. Um, maybe your business is going to start getting busy around this time, especially with summer. Things are going to really um, skyrocket. But I feel like you really need to have a lot of courage, a lot of strength, a lot of power, a lot of faith, a lot of, you know, praying. And um, I just got deja vu. Um, a lot of praying and um, maybe you're even going to get deja vu. I feel like whatever you're putting your mind to, um, it's going to work. It's going to work. And then I feel like whoever you meet, it could be a Gemini. I'm also getting like Sagittarius. A lot of fire signs and a lot of, a lot of earth. Um, a little bit of air as well, especially with the Libra. Maybe a Libra hurt your, broke your heart. Um, <laughs> we can be a little sneaky. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm a Libra myself, so I like to say jokes like that. But I feel like you're going to be meeting a new love. And I feel like this new love is going to come and sweep you off your feet. After all the chaos and all the drama and all the bullshit, I feel like this person is going to be like your dream come true. Um, I just feel like you need to be patient. You need to be really patient right now because a lot of people want to bring you down. I would take a lot of cleansing baths right now. Do a lot of protective um jewelry as well you know protect your energy um and all that because it's needed a lot of people want to see you down and you're just like um no so let's see what else let's see what else for my collective for the rest of me I'm now open as well for personal readings. So if you guys do want to book a reading with me, I'm going to leave everything in the description box below. So let's see. They do really quick want to talk about this past person. So I feel like this past person is left in regret right now. Um, I feel like they feel like they took too long. They were focused on negativity and being a lot of being selfish more like they were being selfish they wanted to keep you in the back burner um they feel like it's a missed opportunity now they really saw the true you come out of this retrograde maybe you're putting up with their shit maybe you had a retrograde romance and now that retrograde is over um this person is acting kind of funny and you're just like i'm done like if you're not gonna give me what i want like i'm over it you know but i feel like you're just like i'm done being the one that do, does all the work. And now you have to. And I feel like that's really putting a fire in their ass. Because they're like, fuck. Maybe this person's a man whore. A wannabe player. Um, maybe this person likes a lot of attention. Maybe you like a lot of attention. Put the rules how you want them. But the outcome is. I feel like you're going to get married with someone. 
I don't think it's going to be this person, this retrograde romance. I think it's going to be someone completely new that you're going to meet. You can meet them through friends, through family, through work. And I feel like this person's going to make you so happy. You guys are going to have a happy family. Like, literally, like, from Cinderella type thing. Um, Little Mermaid. I feel like you're going to have stability. You're going to have money. They're going to have money. You need to meet someone leveled as you. If you have a good job, make sure the other person has a good job. If you have an okay job, make sure the person at least has an okay job or a little bit better of a job for you. Because you don't want something less than. Because when you get something less than, that person is not going to give you what you're worth. And some people like that, and that's fine. But I always tell everyone, all my friends that ask me for advice, because everybody's like, so what do you think? Or, you know, I'm like the little the little therapist in the group. I'm the little tarot reader. I'm the one that everybody comes to with advice, all that stuff. And I tell everybody, I'd rather be single than be with someone that can't give me what I deserve. And that could be me being selfish. Um, some people don't like that, though. Like, some people like you know, them being the sugar mama or whatever, to each their own. But I have a lot of people tell me, I've been with this person for so long and they don't do anything with that. They don't do anything for me, blah, 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 blah. Right. Why? Because you do everything for them and you don't let them meet you halfway. If you're always doing everything for them and they just have to kick their feet up, why would you expect them to do everything if you already trained them, if you already shown them that you think that you don't deserve more? Hmm? You have to show them in the beginning, like, no, I ain't dealing with nothing. And you know what's funny? <laughs> and everybody tells me, damn, I wish I was like you and I could just um, leave them like that and not care. It took me a while. I used to be like, oh, like, whatever, you know what I mean? And um, really feel a type of way or whatever. But no, now I'm really like, if you can't give me what I want, then I don't want anything. And that sounds very selfish of me. Um, but it's the truth. If I want a certain man to treat me a certain way... I'm not going to be dealing with someone that, you know, is up to no good, that loves a lot of women, likes to sleep around, like, uh-uh. Like, there's certain things that I want. If you can't give it to me, I'm going to cut you off like that. And that's just me. Not everybody's like that, but that's just my advice. If this man or this woman can't give you what you want, why are you there? There's so many people in the world that want to take you out, that want to, you know, love you for you, that are going to support you so many things and you're dealing with someone that treats you like crap isn't even there for you emotionally like what the hell is that that's just my opinion um but yeah <laughs>